Am I so digitally distracted that I've lost my way? I always think about how movies represent memories through old Kodak moments and Super 8 film. Narcissistic tendencies have been ushered in by the affordances of digitisation. The smartphone, the selfie and social media are the new trifecta of identity creation and exploration. But what happened to my memories? This story isn't just about me, but all of us. The camera was our recorder, a device for documenting special occasions like family portraits and holiday snapshots. Dad's photos were family orientated, unposed and natural. The images were carefully considered, given that only 24 exposures were available. The two week wait for the photos to be developed was exciting. They all found their rightful place in the family photo album and we gathered around it on Sundays to remember. Devices designed to represent reality filled my childhood. The Zotrope, the viewfinder, flipbooks and old vintage cameras. These relics I still treasure today and remind me of my childhood curiosity. My first SLR camera in the 1990s changed everything. I now had to control my image and I became obsessed with the more conceptual approach. I was looking at my world differently and my camera became the tool to explore a more artistic view of my world and my place in it. Do I point my camera outward to the existing world? or turn it inward towards my soul. On my 25th birthday, I received my first digital camera. It's small, lightweight, and gives me instant gratification. No longer do I have to wait for my exposures to be developed, and I can snap up to 500 images straight away. My SLR gathers dust, and I lose interest in artistic expression. A new story begins to emerge. Enter the iPhone, the poster child of digital convergence. It does everything, web search, video, social networking. Most importantly for me, it's that ultra high definition camera. Where once I used my camera to make memories for a photo album, my iPhone now captures and shares a newly constructed identity online in a matter of seconds. I buy in to the popular style of image that functions to participate in web-based culture and designed to represent a better version of myself. The selfie puts me at the front and center of the attention economy. I can capture, edit, share, and hashtag my way into a new way of representing myself. And it feels good, but what do I do with all these images? So yes, I was digitally distracted, caught in a cycle of snapping and sharing, making my images ubiquitous in the process, and my intent no longer just about capturing memories of the world and my place in it. Our place. Despite my digital practices swaying me towards narcissistic tendencies, I had a revelation. The obsession with my old toys, the relics that fueled my curiosity about my world. Where have these stories gone? So I buy a digital SLR, but no selfies allowed. This camera will definitely be pointing outwards.